Welcome to this video tutorial which shows how to enhance an ABAP core data services view in a modification free manner based on SAP NetWeber application server ABAP 7.4 support package 8. Various enhancements of the ABAP core data services have been delivered with the application server for ABAP 7.4 support package 8. For example, new building functions such as replace and division, search case for complex case distinction, and special function for currency and unit conversions. CDS view with input parameters and the modification free enhancement of views are now supported. Other areas such as CDS annotations, trend type for associations, and path expressions have also been enhanced. The focus of this video is on the modification free enhancement of CDS views. The modification free enhancement is necessary in order to avoid conflicts when a new release of an application or an object is to be imported. As a developer, you can now enhance a CDS view in a modification free manner by using so called CDS view enhancements. In the system demo, we will see how to create such a CDS view enhancement, check the details of an enhanced CDS view, and last but not least, how to call such a CDS view with OpenSQL. Let's start with the ABAP CDS view to be enhanced in this demo combines the data from different EPM tables and the select list contains different elements. Let's start with the view enhancement. For that, we have to create a new DDL source object. One or more view enhancements can be created for a CDS view with each of them having its own CDS source. In the last step of the new DDL source creation dialog, you can select the extend view template among the available ones. Press on finish. The name of the associated SQL append view must be specified in the only mandatory view annotation. Other annotations are optional. The name of the CDS view to be enhanced is specified after the keyword extend view. And the name of the view enhancement itself is specified after the keyword with. The name of the SQL append view and the name of the CDS view enhancement should be located in the customer or partner namespace in order to protect it against being overwritten by upgrades and or new releases. Now we can define the select list extensions, which can have all elements of a select list with the exception of input parameters, path expressions, and aggregate expressions. We have access to all fields of the data sources used in the enhanced CDS view. An appended field cannot be defined as key field using the keywords key. In case an appended elementary field already occurs in the existing select list or in a different view enhancement, then it must be given an alias name. Having done that, we are true with the modification-free enhancement of our CDS view and can now activate the CDS view extension. Let's go back to the enhanced CDS view. A spiral icon is now displayed on the left editor border, indicating that at least one view enhancement exists for this view entity. We can display the element information pop-up of the enhanced view entity using the shortcut 2 and see that the fields of the view enhancement are also listed as columns. If we display the element information of the associated SQL view and switch to the detail view, we can see that the result of the view extension is a view append. This can also be observed in the classical ABAP dictionary. Let's also have a look at the data preview. As we can see, the fields from the CDS view extension are also displayed. Let's create a second view enhancement. As already mentioned, one or more view extensions can be defined for a CDS view, with each of them having its own CDS source. 
the name of the SQL append view, the name of the enhanced view, and the name of the view enhancement must be specified. Two ABAP dictionary objects are generated at activation time, the classic append view and the CDS view enhancement. We are now ready and can activate the view enhancement. Let's go back to the enhanced CDS view and check the result of this second enhancement. We can see that an additional SQL append view has been added to the associated SQL view. In the data preview, the new added columns are also displayed. Last but not least, we will now call such an enhanced CDS view in an ABA program using OpenSQL. Let's create a demo report. I have prepared an ABA code template for this purpose. As you can see, this is a regular select set statement which is expecting the name of the CDS view entity. With this, the CDS view entity is called with all its defined view enhancement. We can now activate and run the report. All the columns, including those of the view enhancements, are displayed. That's the end of this demo. Note that currently views with an explicit name list or with a group by clause or with a union clause for union sets cannot be enhanced. For more information, guides, and tutorials, visit the ABAP for SAP HANA space on SCN.